Hello guys and welcome back to another Dizod 500 FC video. I know I'm kind of late and we still have one week to go. Just one week before Euro 2024 starts. So let's make the predictions here. We've got Group A, we've got Germany, Hungary, Scotland, and Switzerland. Now I know people are saying, oh Germany, they're going to top the group. Uh, I think we've forgotten that in the last couple of years they've fallen off. The last time they made it outside of the group stage in the World Cup was back in 2014. The last time um, they made a pass to the round of 16 in the Euros was 2016. So, yeah, they're, they're not the, the greatest. And they've been losing. I know they're only friendlies, but they've been losing those types of games. I know Germany, they're a, squad, they're a strong squad. They're at home, but still, I cannot see them getting first in this group. I think that honor goes to Hungary. And I do even think they're going to get third. I think Scotland will top them, and Germany will get third in the group. And Switzerland, I do think, will get fourth here. Group B, we have Albania, Croatia, Italy, and Spain. Uh, the, first, the top two is definitely between Spain and Italy. Uh, I could see maybe Croatia throwing in a surprise or two. I imagine that uh, Spain get first, and Italy get second, the reigning champions, of course. I cannot see them topping the group, but... Yeah, I see them going second. And, of course, Croatia third. Although, the, that's no disrespect to Albania. I just genuinely think Croatia should just top them out. Albania, I'm really excited to see them in a Euros. Because uh, last time they were in here was 2016. So, yeah. Group C, we got Denmark, England, Serbia, and Slovenia. And I do think England's got to top this one. If England don't top this one, something, something happened. Okay, England should top that one. Denmark should get second. Serbia should get third. Slovenia, I cannot see them getting through. If Slovenia get through, um, good for them. But a massive, massive um, upset would have to happen for that to happen. Austria, France, and Netherlands, Poland in this next group. France should be topping this. And I'm going to throw it an upset here. Austria gets second. I know Austria is a great team. I would have predicted them third anyways. But I say Netherlands get third. Poland, they're going to get last. I don't even think they're going to pick up a single point, to, to, to be quite frank with you. Group E, Belgium, Romania, Slovakia, and Ukraine. Uh, this this goes in multiple different ways. Um, this is the group of death, in my opinion. I can see every team getting first. I can see every team getting second. I can see every team getting third. And hell, I can even see every team in this group getting fourth. I'm going to say Belgium barely win. Romania is going to get second. And Ukraine is going to barely get third. And Slovakia, I know they're a great team, but it's the group of death. You know? Group F, Czechia, Georgia. I can't believe Georgia's even in here. Georgia, Portugal, Turkey. Portugal, easy win. Turkey, I'm going to say second because they had an amazing qualification campaign. Czechia third and Georgia fourth. As much as I want to see Georgia advance. Next. Um, so really, I do think Netherlands should go through because they beat Poland. I think they'll draw to Austria, maybe France. You know, they should be the best of the third place teams. Uh, I imagine Croatia will go through and I imagine Germany will also go through. I cannot see Ukraine going through. I think because of the group they were placed in, I don't see them going through. It's definitely between Serbia and Czechia. I'm going to say they beat the third place team. They're going to lose to second and to first in the group, or they may draw to second. Serbia might draw to Denmark. Czechia might draw to Turkey. Okay. It goes down to goal difference, and I do think Serbia edged them on that. So we move on to the round of 16. Spain versus Germany. Ah, uh, not Spain. Or not Germany, sorry. So Spain goes advance. Hungary versus Denmark is a, that's a tough one. I'm going to say, hell, I'm going to say Hungary. I think Hungary's going to go through to the quarterfinals. Uh, next up is Portugal, Serbia. That's not really up for much debate. I'm sorry to Serbians out there. Portugal should be winning that. Austria versus Romania. This is a tough one. This is a very tough one. I'm going to say, by the edge of their teeth, Austria. Romania and Austria, they had great qualification campaigns. Romania didn't lose a single game. Austria only lost once, and that was to Belgium, who Romania just faced off against and lost. So, you know, there you go. that's up for that. Belgium versus Croatia. I want to say Croatia. I really do want to say Croatia, but I'm sorry, man. I think it's going to be Belgium. Uh, France versus Turkey. 
Yeah. Yeah, France should be winning that. England versus the Netherlands? I this is a tough one. Netherlands, I know they're great in the defense. England, they have a strong all around. Netherlands are good in defense though. Um and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the um on penalties, on penalties, or on extra time. Oh, this is a tough one. I'm going to say Netherlands. And Scotland versus Italy. Uh, don't call me biased or anything. I'm saying Italy advance over Scotland. Spain versus Hungary. Ooh, this is a tough one. I'm going to say sorry, Hungary, but I do think Spain advance. I do think also Portugal advance past Austria. Between Belgium and France, that's a tough one. I'm going to say France advance. And Netherlands, Italy... Uh, the reigning champions, I'm from Italy, of course, I don't live there, but I am of Italian um, heritage, I'm of Portuguese heritage as well. Netherlands, I do think, still advance, though, over Italy. Semi-finals, it is Spain versus Portugal. I'm going to say Portugal advance to the final, and they're going to be playing France in that final. Portugal versus France final, just like 2016, I think Portugal's going to win. I think Portugal will be the champion of Euro 2024. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you disagree, I know many people do. Um, I just I just cannot see France or Portugal not winning. They conceded two goals throughout the entire qualification campaign. The last time they conceded before that was when they got eliminated from the World Cup back in 2022. So I think it's fair to say that Portugal are, should be a favorite. And I think they are going to win. Uh, or at least, I mean, many people have to say they're at least going to go far. If they, I don't see them getting knocked out in the quarterfinals. I could see them maybe getting knocked out in the semis, maybe losing the final, but I'm going to say they win. Uh, just like France. Many people aren't predicting France to lose in the quarterfinals. I think France, they'll make it to the final. Uh, what do you guys think? Please leave a like, comment down below, uh, share, whatever. Peace.